Today, I'm gonna teach you how to never die in Arena Break, are you? These five tips will propel your game knowledge and skill to the next level. So listen closely as we're gonna start from five and work our way down to the number one spot. Firstly, what you want to do is use scavs, AKA bots to your advantage. These things are pretty much non-aggressive AI inside of the game and they come in various different forms. The most recognizable being the sniper scavs in armory who sit on top of the towers. There's also raiders as well, but we won't get into them. We're specifically talking about those non-aggressive ones. Now, how do you use them to not die? Well, what you can do is actually bait them. Knowing that they regularly miss the shots on you, don't kill them. Run right past and let them be. This will give you a signal if an enemy is coming nearby and allow you to make a trap for upcoming enemies that either kill them or give away their position because of them. He's dead. Got you. Got you too, buddy. Nice. Get destroyed. Get down, nib. This is super underrated. As the majority of the time you're playing, you won't be listening to quiet sound cues like slow walk footsteps, reloading, gun switching, or even near it. So knowing approximately how far away an enemy team could be is crucial to your success of extracting out of your game. Number four, we're talking about guns. Now, although I will have a top weapons to choose video in the future, I wanted to let you in on some of the best you can use. This right here is the most expensive assault rifle in the entire game. The Edge 416 has minimal recoil, decent damage, and solid range. But coming at such a price means that a lot of players never use it. And if they do and die, they just lost at least 100,000 coin. If you're new, that's not good. Instead, opt to use something like an FAL, which is a lot cheaper, uses better ammo, which means you can one-shot head tap people, but it's also extremely good at close or long ranges. You can build your own using the gunsmith, or if you're slightly pay to play, just buy it off the market, as it's a lot easier to do so. Also, stay away from this gun, that one, and finally, the third, as they're just not very good, unless it's your last resort. That's what I thought. They done. I do not believe I won that. Unfortunate, brother. Number three, make as little noise as possible. As I said previously, there are quiet sounds inside of this game. Now you may think making as little noise as possible is just clicking the footstep button and moving as slowly as you can. That is not true. As in fact, there are so many different sound effects within this game. Even when you click that, you have a slow move sound effect, which sounds like this. But that actually changes depending on the surface you're on. So here's the metal noise that you will make when you're slow moving. Still something there. Now what you can do was first shown to me by Monarch and it was used by the Chinese players where you can actually jiggle your joystick up and move a tiny inch at a time to make no sound whatsoever. This is extremely time consuming so I wouldn't actually recommend this unless you know there is a team right beside you. Also, don't forget about all those other noises like reloading a magazine, putting bullets into a mag, pulling out a grenade, pulling the pin out of a grenade, swapping weapons, Opening a backpack, eating, drinking, anything makes a noise in this game. So it's crucial you are as sneaky as possible. There seems to be a team in here. I think there's only two. Killed one and maybe one more. But the question is, is the last guy up top or is he down below? Got him. 
Just a little scav. All right, what did my bro have? Superb helmet. Oh my God, an F2000? Two antennas, wow. Number two, you need to objectively look at bullets that are in your inventory. It's easy to spot what bullets are better than the others by just clicking on them and seeing the level. But if you're too lazy to do that, just look at what color they are. It's obvious that a gray is bad, purple is pretty decent, and then the top tier stuff is that golden -y yellow color. Those variations of bullets all do different damage and will help you out in your time of need. Who needs to question his life decisions after dying like that? Also, if you manage to find any of these on the ground, make sure to pick them up as legendary tier bullets. Well, at least that's what I call them. Go for insane amounts of money. Sometimes up to 1,000 per round if we're talking about the AX-50 sniper. Got him. A little snipe. That was a little bit sketchy right there. And finally, the tip you need to learn the most is how to hold your angles. If you've experienced in other mobile FPS shooters, you may understand this already. But there's a factor in AB you may have not seen before if you come from a arcade arena shooter, being the lean function. This allows you to, like it says, lean around a corner just like this and take people out with only showing your head. Obviously, this makes it way harder for other people to hit you, creating a dynamic where you'll be able to get kills far more effectively while taking less damage. The only problem is if you do find an absolutely god tier player, they may be able to one tap you with guns like the FAL, which I told you to use earlier. With that being said, make sure to subscribe.